Welcome to the University of Oklahoma, the home of the Oklahoma Sooners, Boomer Sooner Nation. Let's go. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're in Oklahoma today. I love this. It is college football season. September's back. I love college football. I love NFL football, but I do love the most coming to college football games. So this is going to be my second video here. I made a video about two years ago. It did pretty well. Uh, people seem to like it. So I'm like, well, we're coming back. Why not make another video? So all we're doing today, we are at the campus. We're going to be walking and talking and showing you around the campus. There's a five o'clock game. They're playing uh, SMU from Dallas, our hometown. So, but we're cheering for the Sooners today. So <laughs> either way, just going to be a kind of random take you around along with us for our Saturday. And I hope you enjoy. So let's go have some fun. Go Sooners. A little tip and trick if you're coming to any of the games and you want to park for free like we do, go park at the Lloyd Noble Center, which is where they have the basketball games. And then you just walk pretty much to the stadium. And on your way, you will see the baseball field. I love baseball. I've always been a huge baseball fan. When I was a kid, man, I had dreams of becoming an MLB, MLB player. Obviously that didn't happen. I wouldn't be making this video right now. But either way, man, what a beautiful, beautiful baseball stadium. I think one day I'd like to come see a baseball game here. College baseball, we'll see. Well, this is nice. Even at the uh, gymnasium center, they have cornhole set up. That's pretty cool. You know you're in a college town when you have the school logos posted up on the sides there. I love it. It goes all the way down. Beautiful campus here. We've reached the tailgating section of campus where everybody pays to park, but you know, I actually, I don't mind walking. Not only do we get to park for free, but we also get to like walk from the start of campus on that side anyway. We get to enjoy more of the campus experience. We've made our way to some closer campus housing, but more importantly, I can see the stadium straight ahead. First looks. We're pretty much catty corner from the stadium. Stopped at this little coffee shop, got some sodas, because it is definitely hot out already. And uh, this statue is pretty uh, famous here. The University of Oklahoma, this is our heritage. I'm not gonna read all that, but cool to see the sign that goes with it, or the statue that goes with it. I do love this view. You know, my wife spotted something that's actually pretty cool. University of Oklahoma time capsule. So I guess the university was, university was created in 1890. This time capsule was built in 1990 and it's to be opened in 2090. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, time capsules right in there. And this is just a beautiful part of campus. All right, moving on. We spotted the Sooners wagon. You can see center of your screen right there. So every time the Sooners score a touchdown, the horses come running out on the fields carrying the Sooners wagon. There's an actual working phone in there. Wow. <laughs> a payphone. Yeah, I kid you not, there's an actual payphone in there. How often do you see these things anymore? Like, not at all. I remember seeing this last time we were here. This is really cool. Of course, the grass is a little dead because, you know, it's end of summer and that's just how it works down here in the south. I don't know what this group is here for, but I can tell you this. They are all Sooners fans. No idea what they are. I'm pretty sure that's the library back there. We're gonna go check that out too. Bizzle Memorial Library. Well, we've only been here for, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour. Definitely need an AC break, so let's go check out the famous library. Hmm, there's pretty cool outfits in the library. The Three Musketeers. 
That's interesting. This looks like uh, could belong in the play Hamilton, huh? Broadway. This is cool, they have an Indiana Jones section. I'm a fan of Indiana Jones. Indy? That's cool. The library's cool. Old historical place. Great to jump in and catch some AC, but I do love exiting the library with these trees and grasses over here. Beautiful. Love these trees. The statue is called the Guardian, a gift of the class of 2002. So this is pretty old, but I remember the statue last time we were here. Cool Native American. Look at that. Pit picturesque. The famous Evans Hall. However, it is an admin building and we just tried to go inside and it is closed, but cool to see one of the historic buildings here on campus. Making our way to the food restaurant section. It's definitely more crowded over this way. When we were here last, two years ago, it felt like the entire campus was packed, but today not so much, but we're thankful for that. This is like uh, Food Central Main Street. Technically it's Boyd Street, but you know what I mean. A lot of Sooner fans. I'm not even wearing any Sooner's gear. <laughs> not yet anyway, I will be buying a hat today. I might go check out this porch place right there, the porch restaurant. To the Sooner store. Well, one of them anyway. I do want to go check out the other one that's built in the basement of the stadium, but this is by the food section, so I had to stop here. Officially buying the Sooner's hat. Awesome. Now I feel like I fit in. Got my Sooner's hat. what buildings these are right here but a nice statue church bells in the background looks pretty want to go for a swim no actually yeah it's flipping hot out oh look at that the water tower in the background well we had lunch ate at chipotle got my hat and now it's time to head into the stadium. We have about 30 minutes till kickoff. And uh, as you can see, everyone's heading in to start the game.
keep the horses in the wagon ready for as soon as they score a touchdown and runs out on the field. Yeah.